you know, I, and I, and, I, and I'm gonna I'm gonna make a a a, a diversion right here because something popped into my head that I don't know if I ever knew the answer to, and but it's a little off topic. Your first album is it, it, it's called Kwame the Boy Genius, featuring yeah. Anubis. Anubis. Yeah. yeah, who the hell is it? Is is that like when R. Kelly came out and he had um? That was me trying to be oh, Prince and the cool. Revolution. <laughs> so, so I always wanted to have like, like Morris Day in the Time, Prince and the Revolution. You know, I always wanted to have like a crew that did stuff. So, you know, there was my DJ. Um, then I had like a side guy. His name was A Sharp and. A was like beyond a hype man. You know, he was a collaborator in the studio, hype man. Um, and he also sang. So, like, if I wanted to have singing hooks, I was gonna sing. Then I had Tasha who also would do singing hooks. Um, and then at one point it was a beatbox, but he never made the cut when it came to albums. And and then it was the dancers. But I didn't want, I just wanted everybody to be incorporated and us be seen as a unit, not as an individual. Um, because when you are a unit, you start, you, you, you're, if you're a like minded unit, this is me and my 16 year old brain. Um, influence is, it's like almost like a bigger influence. You know, you're coming with your whole crew. You're not, you know, I'm the oddball. I'm the nerd in the bunch. So I'm not, I'd rather show up with the revenge of the nerds than just show up by myself. Um, and that's pretty much how it was, you know, and, and everybody had a purpose until they didn't have a purpose. If, if that makes any kind of sense. Yeah. I always wondered, cause I was like, who the hell is a new beginning, you know, yeah. and, you know, to your point, even even back, you you can think of uh, and you know, name so many of them: Morris Day in the Time, uh, Prince of the Revolution. I started to say R. Kelly, and he had public announcement. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Flash had the Furious Five. Yeah. So I, I I got it. I got it. Um, where the polka dots come from? So polka dots, interesting. It came from being broke. I, <laughs> so I had. I had a white shirt with black dots and I had a black tie with white dots and black socks with white dots. And then I had this black pants and a black jacket and these black and white shoes. And that was my black and white fly suit. The only suit, the only fly unit, my get up, like that's like my party thing. You know, if it was a function, I'd put on my black and white, you know, that was, that was me. So, when it was time to make the album cover, on the back of the cover, I had that outfit on. The same photo shoot with the same outfit was my first single cover. It was a single called The Man We All Know and Love. And that was my outfit mm -hmm. for The Man We All Know and Love single. Yep. Then I shot my video. That same outfit minus the black and white shirt was in a scene the polka dot tie with the socks. And then the black and white polka dot shirt was in another scene as pajamas. Nobody had the sense to put four and four together and say, this is the same outfit being rotated. They're like, this dude wears polka dot all the time. And I'm like, no, but still. So my very first, it's funny, the very first show, well, it's the second, my second professional show, the day after my first professional show, was in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And I was opening up for Sweet Tea. Mm -hmm. and, back. and I get on stage in my suit. I didn't have no polka dots on. I might have had that black and white tie. I didn't put my money into suits yet. <laughs> so I get on stage 
and all the girls had on polka dot biker shorts and dresses. All the guys had on polka dot shirts, flat tops with the blonde in it. And Herbie and my crew were known for elaborate jokes. So I walk on stage, told them to turn off the music. I looked at everybody. I was like, okay, y'all fucking with me. And I walked off and I bounced. So I ain't getting on stage. Y'all playing games. Y'all trying to have people. Y'all trying to joke on my one shirt. Da, 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 da. I was beefing. And they were like, nah, kid, they here for you. And I'm like, what? And I got on. I was like, did y'all wear that for me? And everybody was like, yeah. It was like, you know, it was a bunch of kids. And I was like, oh, snap. And then I still didn't believe it. But then every city after city after city after city, same thing. And I'm like, I guess we got to buy some polka dots. <laughs> so you never wore that outfit to start a trend? No, 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 no. But I understood what was happening. And like I said, I throw it back to Prince. I throw it back to Run DMC. I was like, every big artist has a thing. Yep. Even like Michael Jackson had the slouchy socks and the glove. Madonna had the, remember those, those um, what was it, the virgin bracelets or whatever Madonna yep, had? Yep, yep. Yeah. You know, all the girls were dressing like that at one point in the 80s. Run DMC had the Kango and um, LL had the Kango. Run DMC had the Adidas. Prince had purple. So I was like, yo, I got polka dots. And, and you know, so I incorporated it. And then I started turning it in. And then I started bugging out. I started turning it into something else. I would be like, so, like, you know, especially if a white person would interview me, and like, so what does the polka dots mean? And I'm like, the white on my shirt represents the white man's influence on the world, but the black polka dots stand out over the white man's influence because these are the black achievements of the black man. <laughs> and then I'd be like, the black on the shirt represents the 400 years of slavery that we've endured and the white dots represent the white man trying to impose themselves over our culture and our meaning. <laughs> I couldn't, y'all couldn't make this up. So I was like, yo, you want to make it a thing? I'm going to make it a thing, whatever. What you, what you want to do? <laughs> hey, come on. Yo, that's insane. I, I remember everybody rocking them polka dots. Like everybody rocking the book and, and and also, I mean, you was a trendsetter as well with with the with the high top fade with the what was that the like the the the, the blonde streak through it at that time? Yep. So you you were setting a lot of trends. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message. Feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.